Hi everyone, good morning. So my name is Teacher Eliezer from Learning Math Academy. So today, uh, we are going to discuss a prerequisite topic for algebra, which is all about the set of real numbers. So alam nyo mga, mga, uh, mga sudyante, kailangan natin matutunan kung ano ba yung set of real numbers para mas lalo nating maintindihan kung ano ba yung topic, ano yung mga topic sa algebra. So, ano ba yung sets of real numbers? So, marami sa atin hindi, hindi alam ano yung sets of real numbers. But, Learning Math Academy will help you and me as your teacher, teacher LDSR, will help you. We'll discuss about this uh, prerequisite topic for algebra, which is the set of real numbers. Okay, so, but before we're going to proceed to the topic, so we are going to describe first the set of real numbers. Ano ba yung set of real number? So, in order for us to be sure na you are already familiar with the uh, uh, basic ideas of sets. Because some students doesn't know, ano ba yung basic ideas about sets? So, yun ang dapat nating matutunan. No basic. You, you must know first kung ano yung basic, ano yung pinakamadali in order for you to understand the complicated one. So, mahihirapan kayong intindihin ang topic sa mathematics na medyo complicated if hindi mo alam yung basic. So, before we proceed, let's have to familiarize, no? recall, no? So, about the basic ideas of sets. So, ano ba yung set? A set is a collection of objects whose contents can be determined. No? So, ma-determined natin. Okay, so just like uh, this, uh, this one is an example of, of uh, a set of counting numbers. So, as you see, uh, meron siyang dalawang braces. No? Dalawang brace. So, the, the other one and sa dulo. So, ano bang ibig sabihin yan? Pag meron dalawang brace, it indicates that we are representing a set. So, pag nakita ka, mayroong brace sa unahan, mayroon yung brace doon sa hulihan. So, it means we represent a set. And there are elements na nasa loob. So, yung numbers. And we can identify those elements kasi may nakalagay na kama. In this example, makikita mo na we have three dots doon sa dulo. So, ano ba yung three dots? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng three dots na sa dulo? Ang ibig sabihin na so forth and so on. Or, we don't have final elements or the last element of the set. No? So, continue mo siya forever. Forever. So, meron palang forever sa set. No, oh, walang forever sa set. Diretso eh. Continues. So, yon. So, that's the example of sets. So, have you recalled already? So, na-recall na ba ninyo? So, kung na-recall na, let's proceed to our main topic, which is the set of real numbers. Okay, so let's continue. So, ano ba yung set of real numbers? So, karamihan sa atin, nahihirapan, no? In, uh, naintindihan naman, pero iba yung pagkakaintindi sa atin. So, ngayon, pag-usapan natin, ano ba yung set of real number? So, the set of real number is formed. By combining the rational number and irrational number. Thus, every real number is a rational or an irrational number. So, we have this Venn diagram. As you look at, we have irrational and we have rational number. So, when we talk about irrational, these numbers, to mga numerong to na irrational ay mayroong mga decimal. No? Mayroong mga decimal sila na hindi napuputol. So, sunod-sunod. At hindi umuulit yung number. So, ano ba yun? So, for example, 1.2451764 So, for in so on. So, continuous siya. So, hindi siya napuputol. Napuputol lang siya pag nira-round off. But without rounding off, if hindi siya napuputol, hindi siya umuulit, that is what we call irrational number. No? Tandaan natin yan. So, pi. Sir, bakit ang pi irrational? Yes. Pi is irrational. Why? Because 
pi is 3.14, 16, so forth and so on. So, mayroon niyang mga karugtong pa na decimal na kailang na nandoon. Pero, to, to solve, in order to solve the problem easily, so we rounded the number, round the number off to the nearest tens, a hundreds rather. So, para mas, ma, mas maintindihan at mas ma, madaling i Solve. So that's what we call approximation. So for irrational, sometimes we use the word approximate. So yung ganitong sign. Okay. So sometimes we use that one as a symbol. It means that is not the accurate, but that is nearest to the exact answer. Approximate. So next is the other side of a real number, which is rational. So magumpisa tayo sa pinakamababa. So, yung pinakamababa is what we call natural numbers. So, N. Ano ba yung natural numbers? So, tinatawag din itong counting numbers. Bakit counting numbers? Kasi nagbibilang tayo. So, counting numbers. Nagbilang tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, for and so on. So, hindi na puputol yan. Continue uh, uh, that numbers. No? So, for and so on. So, those are sets of natural numbers. So, yun po yung sets of counting numbers. So, that's why N, it means natural numbers. So, next is whole numbers. So, sunod na pag-usapan yung whole numbers. Ano ba yung whole numbers? So, alam naman natin eh. One, get, get one whole sheet of paper. Get two, two whole sheets of paper. So, so for instance, so, five uh, apples. So, limang piraso na apple. So, mga ganong Ganong eksena. So, whole numbers. Pero, ang whole numbers are all natural numbers plus zero. So, zero is a whole number. No, lagi natin tandaan. Diyan tayo nagkakamali lagi. Zero is part of the whole number. Zero is a whole whole na, whole number, rather. No? So, ganito talaga mag-pronounce. Wag bisaya. Hindi masyadong uh, clear. Pero, in our hearts, no, ganun talaga. Medyo matigas magsalita, pero malalambot naman ang puso naming mga bisaya. So, yun. Whole numbers. So, starts with zero. So, tandaan. Natural numbers or counting numbers starts with one, two, three, four, so forth and so on. Pag sinabi whole numbers, natural number plus zero. So, nidagdagan lang natin zero, magiging whole numbers na siya. Set of whole numbers. Next is the set of integers. So, as you look at the diagram, Integers represented by the letter Z. It is came from the German word Zalen, which means numbers or integers of positive numbers and negative numbers, including zero. Integers are whole numbers and their opposites. So, lahat na whole numbers, na ba whole numbers zero and their opposite which is negative 1, negative 2, palit ng palit. So, that is what we call integers. And the last, which is the part of rational number where natural whole numbers and integers, a subset for this is rational number. The set of rational number. So, ano ba yung rational number? Can be expressed as fraction or ratio. No? Ma -ex Pwede natin express as fraction or ratio, that is a rational number. And it is represented by letter Q, which means quotient. So, yun yun. No? Q. Kasi baka magtaka ka. Q. Ano ba yung Q? Quotient. That is rational number. Ano ba yung Z? Integers. That stands for Zalen. W. That's whole numbers. N. Counting numbers or natural numbers. Okay. So, the set of real numbers. So, re let us recall, the set of real numbers is formed by combining the rational and irrational numbers. Thus, every real number is either a rational number or irrational number. That's all for today. Bye-bye.